Hello, my darlings, and welcome. Today, I'd like to talk about 10 ways to cleanse and charge your crystals and stones. Let's do some magical crafting. Sometimes you may feel like your crystals and stones need to be cleansed. They absorb energy as they do work for you. Your magical tools need to rest and recharge from time to time. You may notice your crystals feeling heavy or dull, or you may intuitively get a message that they need refreshing. Option number one is smudging with sage or incense. This is probably the most popular cleansing method. It uses a dried sage bundle. Just light the bundle and cleanse your crystals by passing them through the smoke. Another option is to burn a stick of Palo Santo wood and use the smoke in the same way. Or consider rosemary, copal, or sweetgrass smudging. Option number two is moonlight. The negative energies that can build up inside of crystals are hidden from our physical eyes and they often come from people's emotions. The moon rules these areas and can be used to cleanse these vibrations and energies. At night, and especially when the moon is full, place your crystals on a windowsill which faces the moon. You can also leave them outside if you feel comfortable doing so. The moonlight will both cleanse and charge the crystals overnight. Option number three is sunlight. Sunlight will supercharge your crystals and give them drive and focus. Direct sunlight is better than through a window. If you're interested in programming your crystals for big intentions and actions, the sun is a good source of energy for this purpose. Do not leave your crystals in direct sunlight for extended periods of time, as some may fade. This is especially true of amethyst. Option number four is crystals. There are a few crystals that never need to be cleansed, and they're great for cleansing and charging other stones. Selenite will cleanse your stones, removing negative energy. Or, place your crystals on top of a cluster or geode of clear quartz, or even amethyst. You can also place your crystals inside a pouch alongside a carnelian, or a kyanite stone to cleanse them. Option number five is water. There are many ways to cleanse and charge crystals with water. You may wish to hold them under running water such as a river or a stream, a waterfall, or even in the ocean. You may wish to collect rainwater for this purpose or charge water under the moonlight to use. And if it's the dead of winter where you live, you could also use snow. Placing your crystals in snow is a quick and powerful way to clear and program them to hold long-lasting intent. Water will damage some stones, so be careful which ones you cleanse in this manner. I've created a video about which stones you should never cleanse with water if you'd like to learn more. Option number six is earth. You may wish to use the power of earth to charge your stones. This can include burying them in the earth for a day. Another option is to place them in a bowl and cover them with sand. Option number seven is rice. Similar to burying your stones in the earth, you may choose to bury them in rice or some other grain to cleanse them of any negativity and charge them with earth energy. Because the rice is absorbing any negative energy, do not cook and eat the rice afterward. Option number eight is salt. Sea salt is a very traditional purifying agent. Place your stones in or on top of salt points down to cleanse them and protect them. Be sure to use sea salt only because table salt contains aluminum and other chemicals. Do not place carnelian on salt as it may cause damage. Option number nine is energy work. Breath work can be an effective cleansing method to get started, hold the stone in your dominant hand. Focus on your intention for a moment. Deeply inhale through your nostrils. Bring the stone closer to your face and exhale short, forceful breaths through the nose and onto the stone to bring it to its highest vibration. If you're a Reiki practitioner or use any other energy healing method, you can use this to cleanse your crystals whenever or wherever you are. Simply hold your crystals and pass the healing energy through them. You may also wish to pass the stone quickly through candle flame while focusing on your intention for each one. 
Option number 10 is Tibetan singing bowls. When struck, a Tibetan singing bowl emits a tone which is both soothing and cleansing. Don't put your crystals inside the bowl itself, but place them outside around it. Gently strike the bowl with a stick and slowly rub the rim or outer edge of the singing bowl in a clockwise direction several times until the sound charges your stones to their highest vibrations. And now it's your turn. Please share your favorite way to charge or cleanse your crystals. I'd love to hear about your experiences in the comments below.